Good afternoon. I'm Congressman Russ Carnahan. Welcome to St. Louis. I apologize for not being able to join you in person, but I appreciate you giving me an opportunity to address NEMA's High Performance Buildings Council Workshop in St. Louis. And to give you an update on federal initiatives and developments related to high performance buildings. Nearly two years ago, I sponsored a green building conference to bring together area builders, environmentalists, and regional leaders to discuss the potential environmental and economic impact that high performance buildings could have in the St. Louis area. As our nation and region continues on the road to recovery, we have a real opportunity to make lasting investments in our nation's future by rethinking our built environment and investing in high performance buildings. Last year, I co-founded the High Performance Buildings Caucus in the House of Representatives to heighten awareness and inform policymakers about the major impact buildings have on our environment, health, safety and welfare, and the opportunities designed to design, construct, and operate high performance buildings that reflect our concerns. The caucus highlights the impact of the built environment on our lives and the environment both locally and as it relates to global climate change, energy use, and new sustainable approaches being developed. Just this past week, NEMA helped organize a briefing with the caucus on high performance buildings and the smart grid. It is these kinds of collaborative events between the private and public sector that we hope to encourage as a caucus. One of the other major goals of the caucus is to increase the number of high performance buildings throughout our nation. One of the fastest ways to do this is for the federal government to lead by example. The Energy Independence and Security Act of 2007 increased the overall rate of required reduction in total energy consumption of federal buildings in each agency from 20% to 30% by 2015. It has set more stringent energy goals for new construction and major renovations, requiring them to reach a 65% reduction by 2015 and zero net energy use by 2030. While energy consumption is only one aspect of a building, it is an area where, we, where significant cost savings can be realized. It is not only important to recognize that we need to continue to build and retrofit our federal building stock into high performance buildings, but we also must ensure that they are performing up to these high performance standards. This includes enabling buildings to be intelligent so they can respond to changes automatically, but also ensuring that federal facility managers are properly trained so that they are operating our high performance buildings at peak efficiency. Most recently, the House of Representatives passed the American Clean Energy and Security Act. This legislation lays out a bold and balanced approach to address three of the most important challenges we face today, creating jobs, securing our energy independence, and protecting our environment from the worst effects of climate change. I supported this legislation because it established a long-term energy policy framework to achieve these goals. This legislation also makes significant improvements to our nation's building codes and investments in the smart grid and clean energy infrastructure. For example, under the House passed legislation, national building codes will improve energy efficiency by 30% immediately and by 50% in 2015. We still have a great deal of work to do in order to reach these goals, but I strongly believe that we can attain them with the proper use of high performance building technologies and the right government incentives. The benefits of high performance buildings are clear. Through a new and more sustainable approach to design, constructing and operating new buildings and retrofitting and operating older buildings, we can address the numerous and varied environmental, climate, health and economic impacts that result from our homes and offices. Not only will this help address global climate issues that will create immediate and long-term high-paying clean energy jobs needed for our economic recovery. I appreciate the work you're doing as well as the opportunity to speak to you today. I look forward to working with you in the future to reach these goals. Thanks again and have a great meeting.